This makes more sense. In this episode, I'm going to address when is asset-based long-term care insurance a good option. Get ready because there are a lot of people, including advisors, that don't even know what an asset-based long-term care insurance strategy is. Put on your seatbelt. So my name is Doug Andrew and I've been a retirement planning specialist now for more than four and a half decades and I've helped a lot of people uh, prepare for retirement uh, in unconventional methods rather than following the herd, putting money into traditional IRAs and 401ks invested in the market. Why? Because the premise for a lot of those is, oh, I defer paying tax in those IRAs and 401ks, uh, you'll likely be in a lower bracket when you retire. Well, that has not been true or axiomatic for more than 30 years. People who save very much money usually are not in lower tax brackets. So sometimes people go, so do you recommend Roths? Well, a Roth is a step in the right direction, but there's still too many strings attached. So I've never owned an IRA or 401k, never will. I've never owned a Roth IRA or 401k and I never will. My favorite vehicle I call the laser fund. And uh, it is actually a max funded tax advantaged insurance contract where you're taking the least amount of insurance the IRS will let you get away with and you're putting in the most money or premium that the IRS allows and it turns into a tax-free cash cow where you could sock away $500 a month, uh, 10,000 a year, 100,000 a year, a million a year, and you're able to accumulate your money at very safe, predictable rates of return averaging between seven to 10%. Some years, our clients are credited 16%, 25%, 61%. But it means that every million dollars that you accumulate can generate 70, 80, 90, $100,000 a year of tax-free income. Well, this is where a lot of times people will self-insure and have their life insurance policy be available to tap into for long-term care. Well, generally speaking, there's a lot of people who do not want to pay the premiums to a long-term care insurance. And I don't blame them because uh, it can be expensive. You pay premiums for your entire life to cover expenses in case you end up into a nursing home or a long-term care facility. And if you never use it, you lose it is down the drain. So here's a better choice you may want to consider. Here we go. I'm going to explain uh, a product that is offered by one of my favorite carriers called Pacific Life. And uh, this is actually a presentation prepared by Conor McFerrin. He has given me permission to show you some of these illustrations here. And this will show you some of your choices and options when it comes to long-term care. So this is all uh, included into some literature and brochures that I can provide for you if you attend one of our educational webinars on this topic. But when you're looking at retirement planning, there are several considerations that you want to look at, including what is inflation going to do to your hard-earned savings and money, taxes, what if you need an emergency fund, and what kind of a standard of living do you want to maintain? Because taxes are going up. Most people who have IRAs and 401ks, uh, if they have a million dollar nest egg and they need a net of a hundred thousand to buy gas, groceries, prescriptions, and golf green fees, they usually need to pull out as much as 150,000 in a 33% bracket uh, to net a hundred thousand to buy those gas and groceries. In other words, you pull out 150,000, you pay a third in taxes 50 to net a hundred. Well, what if in seven to 10 years, because inflation is averaging between 7.2 to 10%, the cost of living doubles. Pretty soon you have to pull out 300,000 to net 200,000 to buy the same gallons of gas and loaves of bread you used to buy seven years earlier, let's say, with 100,000. So see, inflation and taxes is what causes most people to outlive their money. This is why I like to put my money in a laser fund and I can then link my returns to the things that inflate. I don't like inflation any more than you probably do, uh, but it doesn't hurt me or hinder me. I come along for the ride. When inflation goes to double digits, 10, I usually earn 15. If it goes to 15, I earn 20. You can watch other videos on this very channel about that. In fact, if this is already intriguing you, I would recommend that you subscribe to this channel. Uh, click on the link, click the little bell so you'll be notified every time I post 
an in-depth answer to a financial question, which I do almost on a daily basis. And share this video with someone who ought to hear what I'm about to tell you about long-term care. And then stay with me to the end because I want to gift you a copy of my most recent best-selling book called The Laser Fund. If this is intriguing you and you want to know a little bit more about how to accumulate, access, and transfer your money totally tax-free and protect yourself from the negative impact of taxes, inflation, and market volatility. Now, if you're worried that down the road you could have um, a serious medical condition which would require what is called long-term care, you cannot perform your normal functions. And so there's definitions on what those are. People say, well, I could buy traditional long-term care insurance and it's uh, sometimes pretty expensive and you're going to pay those premiums the rest of your life. And if you never use it, you lose it your money sort of is gone. Just like normal health insurance, you don't want to use it. Uh, and if you never use it, then it's basically you're paying for the people who are unhealthy. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people go, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Or people say I could self-insure. A lot of my clients that have a ton of cash value, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars of cash value in their max funded index universal life insurance policy, want to tap into that money if they need to for long-term care, which is fine. That's one of the solutions. But let's talk about self-insuring in a different way. So if we were to uh, employ a strategy and you don't want to continue to pay premiums into a long-term care insurance policy, and you want to be able to leave money to your loved ones instead of having it go down the drain, and you want to maintain control of your assets, what choice do you have? People say, well, I just want to leave the money in a bank or credit union. So there's a lot of people that uh, I meet that have 100, 200,000 or more, and it's in a bank or credit union earning a pathetic 1% or less rate of return. But I ask them, what is it for? And they say, well, this is my rainy day fund. This is in case I need it for a uh, medical expenses, long-term care. I'm self-insuring. Like, okay. So if you live, you have 100,000 that you can access anytime you want. Uh, if you quit, uh, you can have 100000 okay? If you die, you have 100000 Now, that's if you just put it in a bank or credit union. Well, you could also employ what is called an asset-based long-term care plan and actually uh, come out a little bit better. So here we go. This particular company, Pacific Life, calls theirs the Premier Care Choice Suite of Products. And I'm going to simplify this. This compares a rainy day fund where you have 100000 that you can access if you live because it's sitting in a bank or credit union. You have $100,000 uh, that if you quit, you can, you can take it out. You can use it for anything you want. And when you die, your kids or your spouse gets the 100000 in there. This is what self-insuring usually does. I mean, it's just hundred grand. It's just your money, right? Well, if you use what is called this premier care, this is called an asset-based long-term care strategy. If you were to uh, reposition that 100,000, let's say, out of a bank or credit union from uh, the left-hand pocket, so to speak, and move it over here to uh, a triple A rated insurance company, you not only increase the safety by maybe four or five, six notches higher in safety, but look what happens you can still list it as an asset on your balance sheet. You're just moving it from the left pocket to the right pocket into an insurance company. So you still have the $100,000 that you can go grab anytime you want, like you could out of a bank. Actually, if things got really bad, uh, the money here is easier to grab than in a bank. A bank or credit union could say, sorry for up to six months if things were really bad in America. Most people don't know that. Uh, if you die, uh, the 100000 over in the insurance company is still there and it transfers down to 100 grand. Well, what's the big difference? By moving it to the insurance company on day one in this example, if you all of a sudden had a stroke or something that caused you to have to have long-term care, you would have up to $346,600 of benefits that you would be eligible for day one. Over here, it's gone after the first 100,000. At age 80, which is more of the age that you would likely be needing this money, the benefit has increased to $647,992. So why not do it? You move the money from the left pocket to the right pocket. You have the same access to the money. It's still an asset on your balance sheet. When you die, you still leave behind the same amount. You get a total refund of what you put in there. But if you need it, your benefits 
can be way higher than this, which is going to run out really fast if you self-insure in a bank or a credit union. And that's really the basic differences And people say, well, how can they afford to do that? They're an insurance company. They manage risks. They know what they're doing because they're continuing to earn money on that hundred thousand that the bank or credit union is not paying you on your money. But if truth be known, banks and credit unions borrow our money at 1% and they take 30 to 40% of their term one assets and turn around and put it into insurance companies like this and earn three, four, five, or 6%. This is where they have the wherewithal to be able to do that. So folks, this is uh, here and available for you to understand your benefits. And uh, the nice thing about plans like this is they can guide you through the claims. You're eligible, but this is one of the most popular features I like. With normal long-term care insurance, you have to choose at the time you take it out, whether you want to have reimbursement or whether you want indemnity. And the difference is reimbursement means they're going to reimburse you for actual costs, but you have to use professional nurses and, and doctors and caretakers and hospice and what have you. If you want to use the indemnity, then it's usually lower benefits, but you can use family, friends to take care of you, but it's a lower benefit, but you have to choose at the time you take out the policy. With this one, you can wait until you file your claim. If that is 15, 20 years down the road at age 80, you can go, you know what? I think we want the reimbursement. Oh, I think we want the indemnity. You can choose which one you want because if you would rather stay home and have family members take care of you, they can pay you to reimburse your family members and you don't have to make that choice until the time of the claim. So these are some of the benefits. If you want to learn more, join us for an educational webinar. I'll show you how to get on our list so you can be notified when we teach these educational sessions. If you would like to get on our registration list and be notified when we teach these educational webinars, and we do all kinds, secrets to a tax-free retirement, how to outpace inflation, on and on and on, how to correct the 10 mistakes that most people make when saving for retirement. But usually on a monthly basis, we teach an educational webinar on long-term care and the different choices you have. Here's how to get on the list. Go to laserfund.com, L-A-S-E-R, fund.com, or click on the link below. You contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling, and I'll fire out a copy of this book to you. Uh, I'll pay for the book. You contribute towards the shipping and handling. And uh, then you'll be in our database, and you can then look at our website and see when the dates are for our webinars, or we will notify you every time we teach an educational session, which is usually at least once a month on one of these uh, very key topics. And I don't want you to miss out because I am really passionate about empowering you. So claim your free book and here is to your brighter future. And I hope that you will gain insights into opportunities that you never knew existed before by engaging with us.